What's up lads, welcome back to the channel and Cristiano Ronaldo is going to be under the spotlight today. So we've already done a video on Messi and a GOAT version of Messi I think definitely needs to come to eFootball 2024. And now we're going to take a look at the other GOAT, Cristiano Ronaldo. Now Ronaldo's strength lies in two things, his direct running, his high offensive awareness and his beautiful shots, right? Powerful shots, one of the best finishers in the game. And he really kind of shows that stats only tell half the picture, right? So we're going to show you a couple of clips here. Um, the biggest thing I like about Ronaldo is his direct runs, right? It doesn't matter if you're playing against the AI or if you're playing online in a sweaty Division 1 match, right? Ronaldo makes incredible runs. All of the players that have offensive awareness over 90 have really good runs, right? Now, I want to see a prime version of Cristiano Ronaldo, right? Either a version of him that was at Manchester United or we get to the ultimate version at him of him at the end, right? But you're going to see time and time again in this game, right? Ronaldo is one of the best providers and creators and finishers in the actual box, right? Now, you have to play him in a certain way. And this is where a lot of people go wrong with him, right? Because Ronaldo is a goal poacher, you will see kind of contradictory information sometimes on him. You'll see here that a goal poacher is a predatory striker who plays off the shoulder, right? So this is a perfect example of it. But because of his high offensive awareness, he also gets in around the box, which is very key in actually training Ronaldo up. A lot of people try and focus on Ronaldo's acceleration and his balance, and they try to turn him into an all-round complete center forward. I kind of pick and choose where I want to go with him by maxing out his dexterity. Not for his acceleration or balance, but for his offensive awareness. Now, this build is a bit overkill because with the boost, you're going to have 98 with the player form arrow, but we will show you the ultimate build at the end of the video as well as a special edition of Ronaldo I'd like to see come to eFootball 2024. But time and time again, you will see Ronaldo in these little pockets of space, right? So not only does he make runs off the shoulder because of his play style, but he'll also be in the box because of his high offensive awareness. Not so much like a fox in the box, but he kind of plays like a fox in the box because of the way you build him up, right? And these players are just very predatory. They really kind of get in the box and get on the end of rebounds. And with the way the game plays at the moment, I had to do a video on Ronaldo as we go into eFootball 2024. Of course, he's good in the air. Of course, he's good at penalties and frees. But I do think that it's just shoot on sight with Ronaldo. I mean, any of those slower base players like Lewandowski, they can bring in the play and you can bring them into the play. Like you see here, Ronaldo is going to get the ball in midfield, spray it back. Watch the run he makes. It's so direct and he, he kicks it on again. Lovely little dribble, lovely little pass. And watch where he ends up with this run, even though he doesn't have a, a hand in finishing it or assisting it, right? It's the assist after the assist or before the assist. Watch his run. He's right in the pocket there that if there is a rebound, he's sniffing around, okay? Like a bloodhound. So I do love Ronaldo, lads. One of my favorite players ever. And this is what you'll get with him. So um, if you haven't given him a chance, I would definitely say give him a try and see because he does not miss in front of goal. He's just one of those players that the ball seems to just be attracted to him. And he's able to do a lot of damage when you get the ball. I would probably use him as an impact player because a lot of people don't really fear him up front, even though it's still Ronaldo. They do fear Ronaldo or uh, Romario and Mbappe. Um, but I think a build like this is going to be extremely good, right? So this is a 96 rated version of Ronaldo. This was one of the last uh, cards that they released him for Portugal, a Portugal card. I like this card. I have this card. It's a very solid card. But even a standard card, which we'll get to in a second, can have really nice stats. If you don't have any of these packs or if you're, you know, playing the game, and you want the standard version of him. It will carry over onto eFootball 2024, especially the standard card here. It's quite cheap. Um, you have a couple of levels that you can go. And the thing I like about Ronaldo Lads as well is he offers kind of a different experience when you're playing with him with the way the gameplay is going. I genuinely do think that the gameplay is going to slightly shift towards more um, space and being able to kind of bring players into the into the game at least for the first month or two of eFootball 2024 and then we'll see I will have a video on what I want to see in eFootball 2024 three-parter a load of videos coming like that but definitely give Ronaldo a try lads the biggest thing is right I think Messi Ronaldo uh, I'd even throw Benzema in there as well I'm going to have a video on him there's a couple of players that I think should get you know really really solid versions of their cards so that you can use them for the whole of eFootball 2024 if they are going this route, like it or love it with the cards, that's up to you. But I think Ronaldo should have one of the best cards in the game. Obviously, he's not going to be hitting the heights that he hit before um, when he was playing European football. 
But, you know, him and Messi are still, you know, they're still icons of the sport. I know their time is kind of going a little bit now, but I grew up watching the two of them battle it out. Ronaldo's probably one of my favorite players of all time. This is the ultimate version of Ronaldo I would like, right? Let me know in the comments. There is a bit of kind of, you know, would he be a right winger? Would he be a center forward? What play style he'd have? But I think having a GOAT version of Messi and a GOAT version of Ronaldo would be epic for eFootball 2024. Um, if people could actually actually earn them in game, it would even be better, you know? So um, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe.